Duster, but somehow he makes it work. I mean, some would argue that Duck Hunt isn't a great character, but we got him here too. That's true. I believe Bowser Jr. is lower on the tier list, but um, Smash 4 is kind of a weird game in that there's so many different characters, so many different matchups. Just because your character is low on the tier list doesn't necessarily <laughs> mean all of your matchups are bad. Mm -hmm. It's also, I feel like, the in, in comparison to other games, other Smash games, uh, the tier list between characters, like the gaps are a lot smaller. Definitely. I mean, we've seen Jigglypuff <laughs> you know, do things. That's true, we have seen Jigglypuff do things. You're She's not going to see Kirby and Melee do anything. <laughs> Can. Honestly, sometimes I think uh, Duck Hunts just throw out that can to mess with you. You know, I mean, have the screen it's, it's, stretch it's out. It's a great strategy and a great tool to have. Um, it comes out frame one. So, so. sucks. Why do you have to be like that, Tater Man? Oh, Very sad. That's, that's a great hashtag. <laughs> so Cal sucks. Great conversion from the Nintendo. Yeah. And yes, we are just seeing the projectiles <laughs> go at it, dude. The Mega Koopas are running into cans, which are being supported by dudes with guns. It's a shootout. That's right. Cans, guns, invisible player that shoots uh, Duck Hunt Dog smash attacks. Up there. Always a little risky going for an up air, you know, around this percent. When it's your kill move, you know, it could mean that it, it gets stale and you don't get your kill. But some, but you know, when you have the opportunity to punish, you gotta take it. Yeah, one thing uh, I want to point out that Raido does, that the Nintendo does, isn't doing is uh, whenever uh, Tatanator is on the ledge. Ooh, great cam right there. Just yes. covered that option. Definitely. Um, but he'll hit it the opposite way. So throw it in one direction, then hit it towards the ledge, yes. and then it will just cover up so many options, like the dudes who get up in the jump and the roll. Exactly. You, get, you see a lot of pressure put on the opponent there, forced to make decisions they don't want to do. And uh, can interrupting the abandoned ship. But a raw up smash coming out from Taternator. Wow. But she's in sleeping. You see another and combo and the up air is now That's right <laughs> yes very reminiscent of a uh, old meta knight of bowser jr's up air the coupling up air can trade it seems to always benefit duck hunt but uh i mean really you want to pay attention to the percents mm -hmm. so you can avoid those situations because what happens is duck hunt grabs you or, or you both get hit by can you both die oh uh, you both get hit out and Duck Hunt has the frame advantage usually because he has less percents. So that's when he's looking for it. When he has less percents, he wants to, you know, knock you out and then act out of it first to get the kill. Mm -hmm. You see that a lot with. Or oh, I like Duck what Taternator did there. You uh, knew that the Nintendo was trying to set up his traps, and he air dodged past uh, the Nintendo throwing out the discus, and just clown carded into a banished ship. All right, and now we head into game two. Taternator, of course, taking the first one. Um, we're going to see more Mega Koopas and more cans. Mm -hmm. The Mega Koopa going to interrupt that down throw, and Taternator going to hit with both explosions. Yep. It's important in these kinds of matchups that you know what the projectiles do, because you know, they could mess up your combos um, if you're not you know, paying attention, you know, you grab somebody and you go into the reflexive, you know, immediate combo that you always do. Uh, sometimes that's not always a great decision because you, you know, you get hit into the can, you get hit into a Mega Koopa. Yeah, and as you see that damage racking up for her, uh, the Nintendo 113% on the Taternator. It seems like he keeps getting caught by these cans. Just like that, you know, you can do a good job of slowing in the air, but when you have a can that can do it as well, it's sort of putting up a wall that says you have to deal with this you have to go around it that was really oh. tricky what he did though I mean he was holding shield and oh and the Mecha Koopa saving him there uh, but he was holding shield and he was moving the can 
uh, which is um, harder to do. I think it was probably a bait you know, to get Taternator to think he wasn't you know, going to move the can at all. Just like that, recovering with the can, uh, covering his, re his recovery. Oh, and a very smart recovery from uh, Nintendo. And he brings it back to uh, the stage and takes the top stock. So now we're looking at Nintendo with the lead. Let's see how much damage he can rack up for this stock. Jab one to up smash is going to work for Taternator. Now both players eating the explosion. And very wise from Nintendo, knowing that Taternator is going to land with that big hammer swing. Oh, yes. and the Mecha Koopa interrupting the grab again. Yeah, you gotta keep an eye on those Mecha Koopas. And, and he's still living. That's right, 150%. How often can you say you've seen a duck on this this far? <laughs> okay, good jab coming out from, from our duck hunt. And now, this is where I feel like zoning characters really excel because your opponent gets very impatient. <laughs> And they can steal the game away from you, you know, if you're if you're running into their traps. I mean, Taternator's already at 79. Wow, but losing his stock to his own can, living to 191 uh, percent. I mean, that dog lived a long life. That's that's respectable. That's that's got to be like 20 years of dog years, right? That's definitely a long <laughs> time. Oh, probably put it on for another up there. Looks like he missed a lot. Uh, throwing out the can once again, trade. just he's taking can. the trade. Yes. It's to his advantage. Okay, and there's the can set up. Oh, oh with the we up. got it. The Ollie Yoop. Can to up air, dude. Yeah, so if Nintendo able to just assert his dominance there in game two, take the lead and then just not give it back. I like it. Really showing, uh, showing that he does know the duck hunt. Tricks. Yes. Yes. That's a that's a good setup to know for sure. Because uh, he was just uh, saving it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's his trump card. Had it in his pocket. And let's see if he's got anything else though that will help him take this last game. Okay. So we're going to Dreamland 64 for game three. <laughs> immediate can. Saying you have to respect this option. I mean, it does come out frame one. <laughs> it it does. <laughs> okay, jab, and they're gonna. I'm gonna assume that can's gonna connect. And oh, Nintendo had him a good spot there, and it looks like he kind of got stuck off stage. He did get uh, stuck off stage, but the, the landing in shield and then having the can right next to him allows him to apply pressure while still in shield. And Taternator having so much difficulty just staying on, on the ledge. Also, one thing Nintendo uh, recognizes that whenever Taternator is throwing out those Mecha Koopas, that he actually has a lot of recovery frames. And he's just uh, punishing them for it. That, yes. I mean, it's frame one, but it also has lag. So, if Taternator sniffs it out, he's going to get you back. <laughs> Throwing out the Mecha Koopa and now bombs away. Oh, and the, I don't know, what do we call that one? <laughs> the hammer? <laughs> the hammer, yeah, the hammer <laughs> taking it. Because it's not uh, any directional air. What? Oh, and, wow, we are now one stock apiece. Wow. So I know uh, Duck Hunt, or Dreamland doesn't have as high of a ceiling as Battlefield, but still for that, to, that up air to kill in that position, that percent, a little surprising. It's, I'll say I mean, we didn't even get the sparks. <laughs> okay, just chucking him right off stage. A ledge trap there. Maybe. Looks like Taternator's just gonna go over there. Both players throwing out their projectiles. Taternator able to land with the fair. Now throwing out up airs to pressure Nintendo on the ledge. God. <laughs> Taternator backing away from the can and respecting it. I mean, the can has been giving him a lot of trouble, especially in game two. Right. Nintendo was able to get a lot of mileage from the can. Wow, but the disc is actually uh, completely interrupting the clown card. That's something you don't see too often, but the clown card into up B. Very close. Let's see if he can make it back. 
Oh, good Makes tech. attack. Nice. Yep. Gonna fly away, and avoid that. Back up in the air. Can he land? And it looks like Tater Nader has retaken control of this game. He's just trying to keep him in disadvantage right now. Hopefully, we got him to slip up or make a read. But now we're sending him back to neutral, so. Okay, we're gonna see the bomb. Koopaling. Or, yeah, Mecha Koopa gets. We gotta watch that strong back air. Oh, oh but the. This cart spin. Oh. The spin out was enough to take the game. Very, very risky option.